Welcome back ladies and gents. Before I start my video tutorial, if you look at the corner over there, there's a red subscribe button. Make sure you tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at 7.4 solving trigonometric equations. Now so far in chapter 7, I've covered the addition formulae and I've also covered the double angle formulae. We'll be putting these formulae in action to solve trigonometric equations. Question number one, I would like to solve in the interval theta is more than or equal to zero but less than 360 degrees, this particular trigonometric equation. Now, the angle that I have inside the sine is theta plus 30 degrees. So I can expand the sine using the addition formula for sine A plus B. And if I do that, I obtain the following. Sine theta cos 30 degrees plus cos theta sine 30 degrees plus 2 sine theta equal to 0. Now, I know the crispy values of cos 30 degrees and sine 30 degrees. Cos 30 degrees is just square root 3 over 2 and sine 30 degrees is just 1 over 2. I put these values into the equation and I can rewrite the equation as follows. I get square root 3 over 2 sine theta plus a half cos theta plus 2 sine theta equal to 0. Now, I can make this equation look even more beautiful. So what I can do is multiply each of the term in this equation by 2. Okay, so if I do that, I obtain square root 3 sine theta plus cos theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 0. Now, if you look at this term over here, square root 3 sine theta, and this term over here, 4 sine theta, there's a common factor between the two terms in the sine theta. So I can take out sine theta and write the following. Sine theta in bracket square root 3 plus 4 plus cos theta equal to 0. Now, over here I can actually obtain a single trick in the equation by dividing by something very juicy. And that juicy thing that I can divide by is cos theta. So if I divide the whole equation by cos theta, in the first term sine theta over cos theta is just tan theta. So tan theta in bracket square root 3 plus 4 plus cos theta divided by cos theta is 1 equal to 0. Now my target is to make tan theta the subject. So if I make tan theta the subject, I attain tan theta equal to minus 1 over square root 3 plus 4. Right, I need to solve this particular trigonometric equation. So, what I need to do first of all is calculate tan inverse of this particular fraction using my calculator, making sure my calculator is on degree mode. So if I do that, I obtain the following. So shift tan, type in the fraction, minus 1 over square root 3 plus 4. And the value that I obtain is minus 9.9 .9 to 1 decimal place. So minus 9.9 .9 degrees. Now, to obtain all the other solutions in this particular interval, what I need to do is draw a cost diagram. So here's my cost diagram. C, A, S, T. 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. Now, I need to draw two lines in this particular cast diagram. I need to go back to the value of tan theta. So if I go back to the value of tan theta, I can see that tan theta is negative. Okay, tan theta is negative. We know that, ladies and gents, tan theta is negative in two quadrants, and those quadrants are the S quadrant and the C quadrant. Okay, these two acute angles will just be 9.9 .9 degrees each. So, my first positive solution will just be this angle here. So that will be 180 take away 9.9, .9, which gives me 170.1 degrees. My second solution, ladies and gents, will be this particular angle over here, which is 360 minus 9.9 .9 degrees. I get 350.1 degrees. These are the two solutions in this particular interval. Now this one over here, minus 9.9 .9 degrees, is outside the interval, so what I can do is just cross it out. 
and there you have it. Theta is equal to 170.1 degrees and 350.1 degrees. That completes question number one. Let's have a look at question two now. Question two, part A, show that 5 sine 2 theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 0 can be written in the form A sine theta in bracket B cos theta plus C equal to 0, stating the values of A, B and C. Okay, time to take out the orange juice, okay? Orange juice. I like the juicy mass questions. Now over here, what I need to do is start off with this particular equation, manipulate it until I get this particular equation. What I can see is theta here and theta is here, okay? But over here I've got two theta and no two thetas in this equation. So what I need to do is eliminate the two theta in this particular equation. So perhaps I need to use the double angle formula for sine. I know that sine 2 theta is equivalent to 2 sine theta cos theta. I'll be using this particular double angle formula shortly. My first step is to start off with this equation. So I can write 5 sine 2 theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 0. Once I've done that, what I can do is replace the sine 2 theta with 2 sine theta cos theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 0. Expand this, and if I expand it, I get 10 sine theta cos theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 0. Now, this is looking crispy, guys. Between these two terms, I have a common factor of 2 sine theta. So I can take out a 2 sine theta, and if I take out a 2 sine theta, inside the bracket, I obtain 5 cos theta plus 2 equal to 0. Now that is the form that I needed. It is of the form a sine theta in bracket b cos theta plus c equal to 0. Now all I need to do is read off the a, b and c values. So first of all a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 2 and there you have it. That completes part a of the question. Let's have a look at part B of the question. Hence, solve in the interval theta is more than or equal to zero but less than 360 degrees this particular equation. Okay, first of all, I know that solving this particular trigonometric equation is the same as solving this trigonometric equation. Two sine theta in bracket five cos theta plus two equal to zero. So, what I can see over here is either 2 sine theta is equal to 0 or 5 cos theta plus 2 is equal to 0. So I've got 2 sine theta equal to 0 and the other one is 5 cos theta plus 2 equal to 0. So sine theta is equal to 0 and cos theta is equal to minus 2 over 5. Now I've seen a lot of students do the following divide the whole equation by 2 sine theta. If you divide the whole equation by 2 sine theta, you miss out on some solutions. And those solutions are the solution to the equation sine theta equal to zero. Now, I would like you all to solve sine theta equal to zero, cos theta equal to minus two over five, and once you've done it, the solution will come up on the board. Have a go, guys. Okay, once you've solved, the two equations, you should end up with theta equal to 0, 180 degrees for this particular equation, theta equal to 113.6 degrees, 246.4 degrees for this particular equation.